What's up guys, it's Frankie Vu, back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to catch the ball on your foot, otherwise known as a foot stall. And I'm also gonna show you three variations of ways that you can get the ball out of that. In other words, tricks that you can do from a foot stall. So the first thing to try with a foot stall is just to place the ball on your foot, okay? So what I'm gonna do if I bring my body to the side here is I'm gonna place the ball here and you'll notice that it's not just rested on my foot. I actually bend my foot backwards slightly or as much as I can so that the ball is resting on my foot but also against the bottom of my shin as well. So placing the ball there allows you to get used to that body position of having the ball firstly placed on your foot but also having your balance on your standing leg. So the balance on the standing leg is something that a lot of people struggle with and it's something that you can gain with practice. So all you need to do is grab the ball, place it on your foot, resting on the edge of your foot and also at the bottom of your shin, but also getting used to gaining that balance, okay? So it can help if you put your hands out by your sides like this, just to help you get that balance. And also if you bend your knee slightly, it allows you to have that flexibility so that you can move up and down, slightly left and right, to be able to stay balanced on your standing leg. So once you've gotten used to having the ball on your foot like this and resting there in a footstool, you can try lifting it up and down just like this, just so that you get used to bending your knees in different ways and moving around. And that will make you really comfortable having that body position where you're really, really comfortable with the footstool. Once you're happy with that, it's time to practice catching a footstool or doing a footstool from keepy uppies, okay? So before you do it from keepy uppies, it can sometimes be easier to drop it from your foot. So what I would recommend for this is to bend your body over and drop the ball so that it's not dropping from too high. What that does is it prevents the ball from bouncing away and makes it easier for you to catch it whilst maintaining that body position that we talked about just a minute ago. So I'm gonna bend my body over like this, lift my foot out and just let it drop. Okay, let's try that again. Just dropping the ball from a short height, just like that. So you're bending your body over, just letting it drop. Now the first few times you try this, you might be moving around quite a bit and that is totally normal. The more you practice it, the less you'll be wobbling around. What I mean by that is, it can be quite difficult to keep your balance with your standing leg, but also to keep the ball still. Now the reason I'm able to do it where the ball stops straight away is because I've practiced for years and years and years. If you practice more and more, each time you do it, it will get easier and easier, so you won't be moving around all over the place like this, okay? But if you do it at the start, that's totally normal, that's totally fine, and the more you practice, the less that will happen. So something to be aware of is that when you're dropping the ball into a footstool, you see how my foot isn't actually staying still. I'm not leaving my foot there and letting the ball drop onto it, although that actually worked out pretty well. What you do want to do is lower your foot at the same time the ball is dropping. What that does is it cushions the ball and stops it from flying away and stops you from losing control of it. So what I want to do is when I drop the ball and when it falls onto my foot, I want to bend my knee and then slightly straighten it however much I need to in order to adjust my leg position so that I can catch the ball and cushion it nicely, okay? So I'm gonna move my foot into it and catch the ball like that. So dropping it, there we go. So once you're comfortable with that, you can move on to doing more complex things. I'm gonna show you three different ways of moving the ball once you've got it in a footstool. The first one is just a simple flick up into the air, which looks good by itself, but can also move into other tricks. So once you're comfortable with that footstool, you can flick it up to a next door. You could also flick the ball up to a thigh catch. You can flick the ball up to your head. Or whatever else you want to do. So in order to flick the ball up like that, I've got the ball like this. What I'm doing is, you see how my knee is slightly bent at the moment, I'm going to push that foot out and use the front of my foot to flick the ball up into the air. So if you see it from the side, you'll get a slightly better angle on it, just like that. So I'm pushing the ball out, pushing this leg out, starting with it slightly bent, and then straightening it slightly so that I can flick the ball up and use the momentum of my leg to propel the ball up into the air. So I'll show you that again. So if you want to catch it on your neck for a neck stall or bring it to your head, obviously you want to get the ball a little bit higher. So all you want to do is put a little bit more power into that leg movement. So notice how the ball's coming a little bit higher that time. And if you want a bit more control on it, what you can do is bring your leg back slightly before swinging it up into the air, okay? 
So I've got my leg, my knee bent here. I'm going to bring my foot back and swing the ball up into the air like that. So that's one simple way of flicking the ball up from a footstool. Another one looks like this. I'm going to show you that again. I'm bringing the ball up, flicking it round, and then carrying on with my keepy uppies. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting from the footstool, bringing the ball up slightly by raising this leg from the hip. Then I'm going to swing the ball back behind my standing leg and carry on with my keepy uppies. So I'll show you that one more time. Starting with the ball here, raise the leg from the hip, swing it round and carry on with the keepy uppies. Now the important thing about this move is that I want to create enough momentum to be able to get the height on the ball when it goes behind my standing leg so that I can then carry on with the keepy uppies. So if, for example, you don't raise this leg enough, you won't get enough momentum to bring the ball up into the air high enough to carry on with your keepy uppies. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if I don't create enough momentum, say if I start my movement from here, the ball just falls on the floor. So what I need to do is bring this leg up high enough so that I can create the momentum to bring the ball back behind my standing leg and get it high enough to carry on with the keepy uppies. The final move I'm going to show you from a footstool is a bit more complex and it involves being able to do a footstool on both sides. So once you've mastered a footstool on both feet, you can do this. So that's one that takes a little bit more practice, but it looks great when you can pull it off. What you need to be able to do is do a foot stall on one side and then bring that foot slowly downwards. So I'm going to start on my left. Now that I've got the foot stall and I'm balanced, composed myself, I'm going to lower this foot so that my heel is touching the ground. So I'll show you that from the side. Foot stall on my left. I'm going to bring this foot down so that my heel is touching the ground. And that heel needs to be at this angle so that you can keep the ball off the ground, but still in the footstool. Then I'm going to bring my right foot over, using this heel to balance myself, and I'm going to scoop the ball up with my other foot to get the footstool on the other side. So again, this move takes a lot of practice just to get the balance right, to get your composure right. But once you've done it, it looks great. If you like that and you want to see more tutorials don't forget to check out our youtube channel on pro direct soccer like comment and subscribe i'll see you next time